Assalamu alaikum and a lovely, lovely, lovely morning to all of my students and whoever is watching this video right now. I hope and pray that you're all feeling great and enjoying your day because another beautiful, beautiful, beautiful day ahead. A sunny day, but um, cool breeze, nice um, wind blowing outside. And um, as I say that um, it, it was uh, very, very pleasant in the morning for a walk and to sit on the terrace. Um, so it was it was really, really nice. Very, very cool feeling, relaxing in the morning. And now it's sunny, but even then the day is not really hot because it's another beautiful day. Um, now let's see what we're going to get out from this day, what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has sent us and how we are going to use this day fullest with the energy and enthusiasm and all the positivity and all the beauty. So we're going to start our lecture today. Um, this is our uh, literacy lecture uh, right now. So we are going to start with that. And, um, and uh, as I tell you, um, as we are doing in our literacy class, you know that we are um, completing our alphabets. And uh, so we are going to do another alphabet today. And um, we are going to guess that. Mm, yes, um, uh, we have done up till uh, S, I think, right? Yeah, remember we did S. Uh, so, um, so much. Let me see, yeah, we did S, S for star, and yeah, we did that. So today we're going to do that, whatever comes after S, and we are going to do that alphabet. Um, so I am going to show you a picture. Uh, to just have a look at that and guess which is the alphabet we are going to do today, okay? So I'm going to show you a picture early in the morning. Mm, that is the thing with which most of us uh, start our day. Um, enjoy this early in the morning. So I'm going to show you that and you're going to guess the alphabet for today. What is this? Coffee? Mm, no. You see? What is this? Yeah, this is teacup and this is tea. Yay. So I just had a cup full of tea. So because I don't know whether that gives you energy or I don't know, but that um, gets you ready for the day ahead um, that opens up your eyes. I don't know. Do we need something to open up our eyes? So we can open them up ourselves as well. But yes, a cup full of beautiful aroma, amazing aroma, the tea that makes our day, we start our day with a little energy with this um, cup of tea. So what do you think is the alphabet for today? Tea cup, tea, you like tea? Do you like tea? Okay, so you need to tell me what is the alphabet? Yes, the alphabet. Yes, it is tea. Yay, very simple. Tea, we drink tea. And the alphabet for today is also tea. Where is my alphabet? Hello, tea, where are you? Oh, it's here, hidden under the tea. So today's alphabet is tea, right? So the tea we drink, and the T, we are going to trace and we are going to learn today about, right? So, T is the alphabet for today. Oh, yes, T is for today. T is for tomorrow. Wow. So, T gives us so much. So, we are going to do today T. And we will, yes, we will be doing T even tomorrow as well, because we'll be doing the capital one tomorrow. You're going to do the small one today, and you're going to do the capital one tomorrow. So today, T today, T tomorrow, right? 
Okay, so um, we are just going to see uh, how many things uh, that get starts with T. We're going to have a look at them. Okay, so first of all, we have seen this uh, teacup, right? Yeah, teacup starts with T, right? So we are going to just uh, stick it over here. T, teacup, and T, right? We will just put it over here. Our T, our teacup. As you can see that, yes. Yes, you can see that. Okay, then another thing. Okay, now how did this? What is this? What do you think this is? This is a T for tent. What is it? Yes, this is tent. Tent. When we go for camping, uh, people uh, take this along and uh, they live in tents. But yes, refugees also, they live in tents. Um, these are the portable, we can say, these are the portable houses. Like uh, you can fix them somewhere, whether we're, uh, if you're traveling, you can fix it somewhere. Uh, see, they're, they're tied with the string and all. So you can fix it somewhere and then um, you can live for like two or three days and then you can fold it, you can pull it out, fold it, pack it, and you can just go on, right? So T is for tent, right? Then what do we have? We have a cute little animal. Yeah, we have a cute little animal, and that even starts with T. Now, you are going to guess that. What starts with T, and that's an animal, T, and there are many, okay? Yeah, that can be, okay, so I, I, I'm going to show you. Yeah, my tiger, it looks like it's a blind tiger. Oh my God, I should have made the eyes, but <laughs> that's okay. okay. So I'm sorry, this is a cute little tiger, but unfortunately his eyes are closed. Okay. So t -t tiger, he's smiling though. See, he is even then he is smiling. So T is for tiger. So I'm going to put this here. I hope you can see this, right? Yes. Tiger, this looks nice. But only the problem is with the eyes. <laughs> okay. So, tiger, teacup, and tent. Okay, now what do we have next? Uh, there is another animal I want to introduce you to. Uh, where are you? Come out. Oh, yeah. This is your favorite one. We have done this before. You know him before. Uh, yes, you already know him because you have seen him. T is for, yeah, remember a cute little turtle? Yeah. So, turtle, 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 tiger. Yeah. So, he has come very far away to meet all of you, right? Okay. Now, another beautiful thing which starts with T that we have discussed that they're very important for our earth it is very important for the humans because they provide us oxygen T is for we can sit under the shade of this what is that yeah that's a tree very good tree T -t tree so we are going to put tree over here Till is for tree. Okay. Uh, turtle, you can just stay over here. Our tea has a little problem, I think. A problem with this curve. Okay. So, tea tent, tea tree, tea is for turtle, tea is for teacup, and tea is for a cute little tiger which is his eyes are closed, but no problem. Okay, now another thing I'm going to tell you about tea, that is something which is in your house. Um, that is a piece of a furniture. 
that is mostly in your house. Uh, you can even eat on that. That is used in uh, offices as well. And um, where else? You use it for study, for writing as well. Now, what is that? T is for table, yes. Table. This is a different kind of table. We have different kind of tables at home. We have got study tables at home. Uh, we have got uh, dining tables at home, uh, and then we have got office tables in office, um, and we have got uh, uh, corn tables as well. So we have got different type of tables. So T is for table, right? T T table. Okay. Wow, we got so much. That starts with T. Okay, another thing which you must have seen your father used to wear that even starts with T. And what is that? You're going to tell me. That starts with T. Uh, mostly men wear it. And we have discussed that in clothing as well. They wear it in the neck. What is it? That's a tie, right? Like this. Yes. T is for tie. Okay. So we need to put it over here. Okay. So what else is left? T is for, okay. So I have a beautiful, beautiful thing to show you that starts with T, right? And that is a, that is a bird. Uh, this is the animal. This is also the animal, uh, but um, and right now, what I'm going to show you that starts with D, that is a bird. And uh, uh, we have discussed that, um, I think, even when we have discussed about the uh, rainforests, this, uh, this bird is mostly found in the rainforests. So I'm going to show you, maybe you don't remember the name of that, uh, but no problem. I am going to show you that animal and that, uh, is uh, which starts with T. So I'm just going to show you the picture of that and give you the name of that animal. Now, this is the animal, right? A black bird with a big, beautiful orange, yellow, and uh, a little black beak, right? And this is called Tukan, right? This is the animal which is called Takan, and we have discussed that, that this is being found in the rainforests mostly, right? So we are going to put Takan over here because it's so beautiful, I want to put it over here. What happened to you, Mr. T? Okay, so, right, this is Takan. Wow, this looks so beautiful, yeah, okay. I'm just going to adjust the camera so you can see all of the pictures. Yeah, now we've got tent, we've got tree, we've got turtle, we've got teacup, we've got table, we've got tagan, we've got a little, little cute tiger and the tie. And then, yes, I have one more thing. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, that's it. That starts with T, and you can find that in your kitchen. Your mama needs it daily almost uh, to cook things, right? And this is red in color, and kids love it. Mostly the things that is being made with that red, uh, I think that is fruit. That is not a vegetable, but that is the essential ingredient to cook in the kitchen. Yes, and we made the sauce from this as well. What is this? Turtle, turtle potato? No, potato is per potato. It's tur. Yeah, it it it's it's the same like potato. Tomato, yes, yeah, like this, tomato, we have got tomato, yeah, so red, red tomatoes, do eat tomatoes, they are good for health, right, so we are going to put tomatoes over here, now what happened to you, Mr. Tent, you don't want to be there, okay, no problem, we will put you somewhere else, okay, we'll put you over here, okay, no, this is hiding our toucan. 
So we are going to put a toucan up over there so we can see that because this is so cute and this is so colorful and this is so beautiful. Okay, right? So we're going to put it over here and then we're going to put the tent over here. And then Mr. Turtle got angry. So we'll be putting it over here, okay? Oh, wow, we've got so many things. Tikan, tree, turtle, teacup, table, uh, tent, tiger, tie, and tomato. One, one, one more thing, beautiful. Now that is a flower, its name starts with T. So I'm going to show you that is tulip. Tulips are mostly in uh, uh, Netherlands, Holland, which we call Holland as well. Uh, they're mostly found in there, but uh, yes, we have also, I think in uh, Balochistan, maybe, I, I, I think we have cultivated uh, tulips as well, right? So uh, this is tulip. So uh, tulip starts with T, right? So we need to put the tulips over here. Oh, wow. Now have a look at the board. Now we have got so much, uh, so many things that starts with T, right? And we're gonna put it over here, right? Wow, our board is full of the things that starts with T, wow. And that looks so lovely. Toucan, teacup, table, tulips, tree, turtle, tiger, tent, tomato, and tie right? Uh, this is also called necktie because um, we put it in the neck and there is another one that is a bow tie, right? So this is it. So we have done tea today and this is the formation for tea, right? Vertical line coming down, making a little curve and then a small line. Okay, so now we are going to trace that. And for that, you are going to take out your alphabet, alphabet fun book, uh, this purple dino, N to Z, right? Yeah, please take out this book. And uh, you're going to come up on page number 24. Yes, please come up on page number 24. Yay. See, this is so beautiful, Takan. You know, turtle is so cute. I really love him. I love the tiger as well, but I forgot to make his eyes properly. So this cute little looks a blind tiger. There's no blind tigers, but I'm going to fix that, right? <laughs> okay, then we've got beautiful tomatoes. Do eat tomatoes, they're very good. And um, we all love tomato ketchup, tomato sauce. We love tomato sauces. Um, there are different kinds of tomato sauces, um, which are like some of them are pizza sauces that includes even tomatoes. So tomato is a very good uh, thing uh, to eat. It's a fruit. It's a vegetable. And tulips, tulips are beautiful and they come in so many colors. Beautiful pink shades, beautiful yellow shades, beautiful red shades, beautiful purple shades, and amazing, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, you're on page number 24. What do you see on page number 24? Yay, we see a tiger. We see a tiger over there. Wow, this is a healthy tiger. Ours is a small tiger. But no problem, that's okay. We all have a cute tiger. This is also cute, but this is more cute. Okay, tiger, yay. Okay, so first of all, we are going to trace T with the help of our fingers, right? So we're going to put this T over here uh, with uh, the uh, this small T, right? We're going to trace them first, and then we will uh, trace them with the pencils, okay? Now, first of all, you're going to use your two fingers for the tracing. So as we were doing like this and this, right? Like this and this. We curve and turn. We curve and turn. Okay, right? Easy? Okay. Now, as the same way, we can do finger trace over here as well, right? 
Okay, vertical line coming down over here. Yes. Vertical line coming down over here. That's great. Then again. Yay. That's great. See? Okay, one last time. Yay. And like this. Okay. Easy. There are only two strokes and um, the dot is given and uh, the arrow is given so you're going to take out your pencils yes take out your pencils we're going to start with number one right yes start with number one follow uh, start with uh, start from the red dot and follow the arrow and complete the tracing okay yeah come on say bismillah and start tracing yeah, the first line you're going to this second stroke. red dot coming down, making a little curve and T, right? Very good, very good. That's great. Oh, is it easy for you? Okay, that's great. That's even super great, amazing. That's lovely. Okay, now you have done the tracing of T over here, right? On page number 24. And now we're going to do it on page number 25. So you just flip the book and come up on page number 25. Okay, now look here. We have so many T's over here. They're the same. You're going to start with the red dot and you are going to follow the line and complete the tracing, right? Okay, so please do that. Do these one, two, three, four, five, and six. Do these six and then rest you're going to do as your homework, right? Yeah, that's very easy. Again, as I told you that you're going to start Red line, follow the dots, 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 coming down, making a little curve. Ah, yes. Okay. Yes. That's very good. Okay. So, yeah, you're going to write uh, trace only six T's. Very good. Now show me. Okay, that's great. That's great. Super great. Amazing. Okay, now we are going to do this exercise uh, over here, which you can see, right? Uh, there is a piece of meat at the end, and we have to help the tiger follow the letter T to eat the drumsticks. Now, our tiger is uh, hungry, so we have to help him coming through all the T's and to come to the drumsticks. We are going to only touch small T's only that alphabet okay now we're going to start from here the arrow which you can see yes now go touching only the t t would you go there no it's z come down t t and T, okay, we're going to follow the letters, T, then T, then T, no, this is N, T, and T, and T, okay. So that's great. We have only followed T over here and we have helped the tiger mm -hmm. to reach. It was very easy. It was easy for the tiger to reach over here. Now, our, our tiger will be no more hungry. We have given him the drumsticks to eat and you're going to color this as well, right? You're going to color the tiger and which color are you going to do in T? Yeah, brown. 
So um, the tiger is mostly black. It has got black stripes, as you can see over here. So you can do the same coloring as you can see over here, or maybe if you want to um, you know, use, if you want to do this same coloring, if you want to follow this, you can do this as well. If you want to follow that, you can do that as well. That's up to you, right? So I saw a tiger in the zoo, but once I saw a tiger in the jungle as well. Yeah, I have seen a tiger in the jungle. They don't come out very much because they are a little shy. Uh, they want to be um, hidden in um, the places where they are not like seeing uh, much humans. They want to come in front of humans. So yes, when they're in the zoo, they're a caged, so we can see them easily. But in jungle, it's very difficult to find a tiger to see, right? So this is a tea which we have done today, uh, all about tea, which uh, the vocabulary and the tracing of the uh, small letter T. And uh, we have to go, we have to do the capital letter T as well. Yes. So um, this was it from our C class today. And I'm going to say goodbye from this class. And I'll see you in the next class, inshallah, very soon. Till then, stay safe, be happy, and be grateful for whatever you have. Enjoy yourself and um, keep learning and repeating the vocabulary, right? So um, till then, we see each other. I'm, I'm say bye bye. And I love is.